Hi, thank you for clicking on the video and I hope everyone is doing really well. I have recently been informed that the annoying buzzing sound has returned. It is one of those situations that it is technical equipment related and I never know if the buzzing is present until I get to editing and I edit out as much as I can but my skills are subpar so if it is still present I apologize that it does interfere and is frankly quite annoying so apologies again for that. You read the title, yes I am reacting to another video from our best friend Freely the Banana Girl who follows the frugivore diet. This video is entitled What I Eat in a Day on the Raw Till 4 Diet Off Grid Vegan. Not a healthy choice there. As I've said in previous videos, I am about as qualified as Freely is on giving dietary advice. So if someone as unqualified as she that she can react to other people's what I eat in a day videos, then in turn I feel that I also, unqualified as I am, to um, react to hers. Hey Frugivores, here we have another what I eat in a day fruit base. Today is a raw till four day and I'm starting my day with a coconut from the land so I like to drink the water. In Freely's mind, she thinks that we are all capable of living as she lives. Now, let's all take a moment and look at the screen. See what she is doing? Show of hands, who wants to wake up and first thing they do is grab a freaking machete and decimate your food? And eat the, the young coconut flesh. And it's a great source of potassium, magnesium, magnesium, calcium, sodium. Very, very healthy, great hydration and taste awesome right you want coconut water just go buy coconut water this is far too time consuming those of us who you know have jobs and responsibilities other than living off grid we don't have time to do this so always keep in mind she thinks we can all live like this and no matter where we are i mean ideally in her mind we all move to the jungle and we all live off grid, which then I feel like if we're all living off grid, then aren't we all on the grid? Because we're, you know what? I, mm. But she also thinks that wherever you are, you know, we're living in a city, this is practical. Awesome, right? If, yeah. if you are trying to get off the eggs, the hensies, then try coconut instead. I'm sorry if you're trying to not consume eggs, eat coconut. They do not equal each other very very similar and actually healthy and not cruel so here i'm making my special garlic bread i just put raw garlic and a bit of salt water or you can just use himalayan sea salt something like that and just like that it's delicious that is not bread that is a coconut not bread let's stop labeling things and calling things things that are clearly not that thing so after I have my cocoa, I might go for a bit of a walk or do some work in the food forest. And um, we have unique insects here. Check out this stick insect. Like leaf, it has like leaf legs. Those Just legs. blew me away. Where I live, <laughs> there are also some quite uh, unique bugs. We have the humble mosquito. We also have these things called stink bugs that try to get into your house every time it starts to get warm out you will see them they just start to like move towards people's houses they stink and what else do we have that are super unique flies oh fruit fruit flies those just appear even when you haven't bought fruit in weeks the animal life around here is top notch wow Pretty soon after my coconut water and flesh, I will have a carrot juice. Shortly after not consuming actual food, I consumed, again, not actual food. This is the woman who, when she's reviewing other people's diets and they're eating like a substantial breakfast, she's like, oh, you need more than that, you know, to fuel your day, you know, first thing of the day, you need more than that. 
where's the more than that for this? Juice, this is just at the moment I'm having around a litre of carrot juice and I'm really enjoying it right now. And I'm trying to use a fibre as well. Also, this is the woman who thinks that if you're shitting your brains out, you're healthy. So fiber as well so the best gift of all is being able to pick your own food free from your land it is amazing it is amazing to be able to grow and harvest your own food yes absolutely but the vast majority of us don't have that opportunity we don't have that ability so to think everyone can live like you that shows a clear disconnect from reality the reality that most people live in like you can acknowledge your own reality. Like she can acknowledge her own reality and the privilege she has to be able to live like this and live the way she wants. Like that's her reality. But it's also important to know that that's not everybody's reality. Like most of us do not and cannot live like that. And to expect us shows, again, clear disconnect. Anyway, so I'm picking some of these grummy chummer and they are so delicious and refreshing. One of my favorite. I just went for a jog and pick these in the Garden of Freedom. I don't know what the Garden of Freedom is, but it's giving commune cult vibes. Amazing grummy chummy, the sweetest, most refreshing berry I think you can have. I'm not talking it up, honestly. So much better than the, the purple variety. Check it out. I don't know what those are. They look like little tomatoes, but I know they're not. They go kind of red, but best to pick them. They're sweet at many stages. We have two varieties. We also have this dark kind of purple one. It's not as nice, but it's still delicious and they fruit abundantly. I just love mm, being able to go easy. for a walk and pick fruit. Another op shop bargain. This whole outfit cost me $5. Honestly, go to secondhand shops. They're way better. There is nothing wrong with in, in these kind of like what I eat in a day, what I do in a day videos, like showing your like outfit of the day. But... In Freely's case, it's a tactic of hers. It's a way for her to sell you her lifestyle, her diet, because we are still in this thin crazed world, despite the fact that everyone knows that that's not super healthy to look like that, especially, you know, as a grown adult, you know, all year round. But she is using that very short clip to try and persuade people that she's eating the correct way because look at her it's very tactful it's deceitful also it's deceiving because this diet is not sustainable for you know most people nine out of ten people if that usually ten out of ten people they cannot sustain this diet they are not happy on this diet they get they develop health problems they gain weight when they don't want to they you know lose confidence, they gain insecurities they didn't know they had, and then they have them because most people are not going to look like her. You can eat exactly like her and look nothing like her. You can, you can eat exactly like me and not look like me, and that is important to remember. But she is trying to erase that truth with that shot. Okay, so I'm having papaya that we grew and bananas that we grew. So this is a fully homegrown meal. How awesome is that? And this papaya is just like perfection. Love these sugar bananas. Gonna enjoy this. So you obviously don't have to live off grid to get amazing results on the raw to four diet. And Ashley is a great example. She lost 85 pounds and she cured IBS. So she wrote, with raw to four, I've lost close to 85 pounds. I had gained a lot of weight after losing my mum and job. I knew I had to do something about this. I was vegetarian since high school, eating a lot of garbage, basically. I cut out the animal products and within a month lost 30 pounds. I kept going, eating my fruits and veggies, smoothies, always quick and easy, having my cooked meals as well. Sometimes I had a steamed vegetable plate for lunch to change things up. I'm now free of pre-diabetes, IBS and feel amazing. That's really great that's really great for this person it's not truly ever the diet that helps you lose weight it's the caloric deficit because that is the only way to lose weight like you can lose weight on any diet as long as there is a caloric deficit it's the caloric deficit that causes the weight loss I hope that i can inspire others to try it it really works thank you so much freely for all that you do so you can heal your body be kind to animals reveal your natural shape protect against disease be a positive example for others and never restrict calories again check out the royal four diet or check out all my books i've got a special discount going at the moment which is actually very generous and i and of course it would not be a freely video without self-promotion of her products now i mentioned 
in a video a long time ago, many, many videos ago, that I wanted to make a freely bingo card, and I did, in fact, do that. It will be linked in the description of all my videos going forward. It is a link, you can go to it, you can see the card, you can play along. Also, let me know if I should make other, other cards and I've missed anything, or if any of the squares don't make any sense. Put a comment under any video really and I will see it and I will explain what that square means. Just mention in it that this is the bingo card. What does this mean? And I'll be like, oh, but I think for the most part it's self-explanatory what eat all of the things mean. But yeah, play along and self-promotion is one of the squares. So so how much do you think about 40 kilo? Yeah, about 40 kilo. Oh gosh, oh. hang on, let me help. Bananas are here. And they're huge. Huge, look there. Here's a ripe one. Well, ripish. And so those bananas will last them like what four days? It's impressive, but it's not gonna last. Look at these bananas that we grew. They're still on the bunch. They are huge. I would say they're about 200 calories each. Homegrown, organic, free food essentially. And look, there's more free food. I will say, I think it was a freely video that taught me how pineapples grew. It was probably this past year that I watched that video and I was like, I had no idea how pineapples grew and that's really cool the way they are growing. So if we do eat cooked food for dinner, we usually keep it pretty simple. This is a pumpkin Thai inspired pumpkin soup, which is delicious, got pumpkin and mushrooms on top. That is a very thick, thick soup. I know that she has consumed a lot of calories, but it doesn't seem like she's eaten that much. Do you know what I'm saying? This is a um, coconut sprout cut up, some coconut from the coconut milk, and salad. Okay, freak of all, that's my video. In videos where people eat like dessert and chocolate and like have little sweets and stuff, she's like, you, it's because you didn't eat enough fruit, but here she is consuming straight coconut sugar. Like, you're no different. Your what I eat in a day videos are no different than anybody else's. And so how do you stand on your pedestal and talk down to the rest of us? It's just, it's mind baffling, the hypocrisy. So yeah, that is the end of her video, which means it is the end of my video. Like I said, we are both equally as qualified to review people's what I eat in a day videos. So it's like an even trade off. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you did not enjoy it, you can give it a thumbs down. That is cool too. I do not mind. If you are not subscribed already, please consider subscribing and be sure to hit the notification bell to stay notified of all future uploads. If you have any comments, questions, video suggestions, anything at all, feel free to leave that in the comment section below. Be sure to go follow me over on Instagram and I will see you next time. Bye!